Hello ladies and gentlemen, Scare204 here bringing you another Minecraft World War II back to build tutorial. In this story we'll be going ahead and building the Type 7 U-Boat. The Type 7 U-Boat was the most common of German World War II U-Boats used during World War II and uh, it's pretty much one of the most iconic really. I think most of the time when we think of U-Boats or their general design we think of the Type 7s. Um, anyways, this is a 1 to 5 scaled version of the U-Boat if you are interested in obviously a big 2 to 1 scale. I do have a tutorial out for the um, actual full size U-boat, uh, but this, uh, you know, is a nice little design for it to kind of go along with our BAPTA build series, and it's a really nice, small, simple build that hopefully you guys can all enjoy. Um, anyways, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the build. There's not much to really cover. It's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple, uh, but we'll cover um, what we got going on here anyway. So anyways, up here in the front, we got obviously the bow of the submarine, um, some, you know, details, stuff like that. The, um, you know, little um, kind of like flaps or uh, wouldn't really be called flaps but like the little like wings that kind of come out here uh, on both sides are represented there uh, we have the top mounted deck gun um, some of the you know random little uh, you know basically the conning tower I guess uh, in the A position right behind it um, and then back here just more detail in the back of it and everything like that that's pretty much the submarine it's really simple design and uh, you know, is small due to its, you know, one to five scale. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning our first, uh, or actually, we're not gonna do layers, we're just gonna go straight into it. So let's go ahead and move into um, the uh, U-boat. Alrighty guys, so going ahead and moving into building the one to five scale U-boat. Uh, now, just a quick thing to mention is that you could build this thing underwater, just to note that you won't be able to place down some blocks, like the levers, the signs, the redstone comparator, the end rods, the skeleton skulls. You won't really be able to do much with those, which is a bit unfortunate. However, if you were to uh, build this thing kind of semi above water, you would be able to have some of that represented. If you uh, have this thing kind of just sit in the water, your best bet really is to have it pretty much at this level right here. So where the blue wool is basically marking the water level. So you can see right there, um, that would probably be your best bet if you want to have this thing um, submerged. Uh, or you can, you know, again, have it completely underwater if you guys want to. Just note that you lose a little bit of your details here and there for it. Uh, but it could definitely still work. Anyways, to get started here, we're going to start off with a row of iron trap doors. Now, this is going to be the very bottom of the sub. If you are building this thing and wanting it to have it at the top submerged, you're going to want to make sure that this is a full block underwater. Uh, you can imagine a water block right here above the iron trap door. That's how far underwater you want this. After the iron trap door, we're going to go back one, two, and three, uh, and actually four iron trap doors back, uh, like so. After that's done, on top of these iron trap doors, we're going to take cyan stain clay, place down one, two, three, four, and five. After that's done, we're going to place down a stone brick upside down stair back here, followed by a second upside down stair coming off of it, facing the opposite direction, and a stone brick top slab on the end here, like so. After that's done, going up here to the front, we're going to place down a cyan stain clay block, going toward the front, and a stone brick upside down stair, like that for the front space, like so. Continuing on to the sides here, we're going to go ahead and grab cobblestone walls. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five cobblestone walls along these five cyan stain clay blocks. Same thing over here on this side, one, two, three, four, and five, like so. Um, after that's done, we can go ahead and go to the front up here. We're going to place down a sign coming off these two cobblestone walls. Again, if you're building this thing in water, uh, you, the signs won't really be able to transfer over, so they'll, you know, dissipate, but, uh, you know, you get the idea of if you're having, say, a dry dock or something, how to build it. Uh, we then have a, uh, we're going to place on a placeholder block, come off these two cobblestone walls here, followed by an end rod and a skeleton skull. Again, if you're building this thing in water, uh, or sorry, my bad, you're going to put down placeholder blocks like this, and then place down a skeleton skull coming off the two placeholder blocks, and then place down an end rod uh, between this, the uh, skeleton skull and the cobblestone walls like that for the props. Again, if you're building this thing in water, those won't be able to be placed down in, at the water level. Um, going to the top up here, we're going to place down a stone brick slab up here in the front, followed by a daylight sensor. After it, we're going to switch the daylight sensor to the blue kind of color. It looks a little bit better. Uh, we then want to place down an iron trap door. We're then going to place down a lever after it, and you want the lever facing toward the front there. After that, we're going to place down a polished nanosite block after the lever, followed by a stone brick slab. On both sides of the stone brick slab, we're going to place down a sign. On top of the polished nanosite block, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a end rod, place it down on top of it like that. After the stone brick stair slab here, we're going to place down one and two uh, iron trap doors back, followed by a redstone repeater with its notches flicked all the way out to the side, and then lastly, a iron trap door on top of the stone brick top slab. Once you guys have that all complete, that is going to pretty much wrap it up for the Type 7 
uh, miniature scale German U-boat. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this design. It's a very simplistic design, but will go good in any little scenarios you guys might be making with uh, some of my other BAFTA builds that I made. Um, so hopefully you guys do enjoy the design. If you guys do not use this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This being anything from a sign of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear on social media sites. Just be sure you're proper prepared for the build. That's all I ask for when I do these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting this type of content. So as long as you guys give me credit for it, your free user for whatever projects you guys are working on. And that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Miguel 204, and I'll see you guys next time.